Hi folks, welcome once again to a Gaz Labs um, video. Um, wanted to show you something fairly interesting today. Um, Gorilla Portable is kind of all the rage these days, and um, it's where basically you know people will turn up at a park or or um, maybe a, a pub garden, sort of tucked away or something like that, and with a, a, like a portable vertical or, or something like that. And we get it even with the one of the things that we sell at work, the, the little super antennas. When the wind blows, they fall over and things get broken and stuff. So sometimes you just need something really quick and uh, really simple to pin the antenna down to the ground. And um, I found these on, um, on YouTube, not YouTube, um, Amazon. I found them on Amazon. And... Um, yeah, they're about five pounds each um, they're not cheap but um, they're really really good um, really quiet really easy to put in the ground you literally just uh, screw them in the ground and then put your guy lines on and their job done so um, but there you go that's sort the of things and um, they're like a they look like a, a wood screw giant wood screw and they basically screw into the ground um, and that gives you like a little hook attachment a little eyelet or the, the actual hole in the center and the really handy thing is they come in this little plastic tube they're made by a company called geoducks i don't know who they are um but um, the really handy thing is that you can use that as a tea bar <laughs> so you can really get some purchase on it um so yeah i thought i'd show you them they're really really good i will put a link in the just in the uh in the description below where you can get them um, but like I say, they're not cheap, but really, really fantastic. Happy days with those. Um, but yeah, I quite like them. Um, we had the DX Commander up um, on Thursday in the garden, and um, I put a little bit of footage of the uh, antenna um, as it was uh, left um, on Thursday. And these things are still in the ground now, and they're, 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 they're really in there. They're not coming out, let's put it that way. Um, the other thing I wanted to do is catch up with a bit is um, is the little project I've got on the go, which is this uh, little antenna amplifier. I've um, I've highlighted a couple of things actually. I think with uh, a lot of stuff that's in 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 print, a lot of the components that uh, are coming up that they're telling you to use or ask or putting in the bomb is um, they're all out of production or they're all discontinued components. So it's really getting hard now to get to the components that you want or need. So uh, I'm hoping for a few rallies this year. I'm, I'm going to try and do a little list of bits and pieces that I must have in my junk box at all times. So I'm hoping for a rally to come up at uh, some stage with the, with loose components. That would be really, really good. But I'm not sure we're going to see many rallies this year. But anyway, so yeah, there you go, my little project. Um, there are a few components soldered on there. Um, but they are really, really tiny, unfortunately. Um, yeah, I'm really getting into SMD sort of stuff at the moment. Um, I find it really, if I can, I'll always use that. Um, I, I will change this, um, unfortunately, this particular um, uh, equivalent, so-called equivalent uh, JFET is not working as well as I'd hoped, so I'm going to try a little something else. Um, I do have some others. Um, what else? There was a third thing. I'm sure there was a third thing. Anyway, oh yeah, the catch up on the repeater. Um, the GB3 ML repeater. Um, someone um, uh, basically on uh, YouTube, on my YouTube comments, actually come up and said that they would uh, help regards um, setting up the repeater um, at first I, I didn't think much of it but he's turned out to be really really helpful um, and uh, I mean he's just with, he's given me so much information I'm struggling to process quite a lot of it so I've, I've, I've broken it down into some little tasks um, and he's basically informed me that the, the piece of kit the VNA that I'm using um, one of these things um, they are essentially no good um, for doing this. They are too far, far, far too slow. They will get you out of trouble, I think, a push. You could do it, but it might take you a couple of months. I mean, that really, 
that really is the bottom line. Um, it's just they're, they're painful. They, they they don't refresh quick enough. So he's put me he's hooked me up with um with something else, which I'm gonna luckily we've got we sell them at work, which is really really good. And what I'll do is I'll I'm gonna get touch base with the company um, that makes them, and I'm gonna see if the the one that I really really need we don't have. Um, I've got something that will do but the one that I really need, they don't have. So I'm gonna try and to touch base with them and see whether or not they would be willing to um, help. You never know. <laughs> um, so, um, yeah, so it's looking good. We've, we've got everything now just um, really ready to go um, virtually. We just, what we want is a bit of clear weather, enough people um, at the office um, to put the area up and uh, get the cable in. Once the cable's in, then it's just a matter of finding sort of 10, 15 minutes here and there to get it done. Then we can we can do it. So, um, yeah, it's just uh, just just trying to make that that last that little nudge for to get us uh, to get us going. So we, we will get there um, and everything is kind of um, starting to really come together. And I really, really wanted to do this. Not, I won't say on the cheap, but I really wanted to do it with stuff that you or I might have to hand. Um, you know, some people might have a VNA or an antenna analyzer of some description that would uh, would function um, to do it. And, you know, we, we all might have an oscilloscope or whatever. I just trying to do little projects that we all might have kit for. So um, that's my thought process anyway. And, um, you know, encourage people to, to actually give some stuff a go for them themselves, for themselves. So anyway, there you go. Just a quickie today. Um, I keep doing uh, quick ones, I know, but I, I have really been waiting for components. A lot of stuff has come through. Um, JFETs, more JFETs, some high power capacitors. I wonder what I'm gonna do with those. Um, I've got a box full of toroids down there. <laughs> um, more JFETs. Um, pots all turned up. Everything is kind of turned up at once. Um, I'll tell you what, this uh, malarkey, malarkey that's going on uh, is really, really, um, it's, it's hampering the, um, the homebrew scene. <laughs> we can't get any components anymore unless you've got to go to China. And I don't want to do that. I'm going to Germany. I'm going to go to Europe and get all the bits and pieces. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you soon.